We tested the concept oil in the vehicle's low friction 660cc engine and it achieved around a 6% reduction in urban cycle fuel consumption. This is the power of co-engineering approach. I want to underline that all this work starts with the consumers. Consumers across the world have become ever more sophisticated and demanding and it is vital to the success of Shell that we meet both their demands and anticipate their future needs. This is partly about reducing their costs but it's also about keeping up with their, with their preferences and needs whether that is for improved engine performance or improved environmental performance. Our task is only going to become more challenging with new legislation across the world demanding major reductions in CO2 emissions. In the EU, for, it, for instance, the technologies required to meet new requirement reg emissions uh, regulations could add the equivalent of 2,500 Singapore dollars to the price of cars. And many countries in this region now taking the same approach to setting demanding CO2 emissions targets. Fuels and lubricants providers and OEMs all need to consider more adventurous approaches. In particular, I believe we will be considering new approaches to specifying oils and to tackling or perhaps sidestepping issues of backward compatibility. At Shell, we see three stages in this work. In the short term, all those involved in the industry need to continue to increase their understanding of emerging technologies and lubricant interactions. This will include a focus on areas such as engine coatings, roller bearings, turbochargers, and low friction piston designs. In the medium term, we need to look at creating formulations to meet the particular demands of city driving, of small ultra lightweight vehicles, and accommodating lower specification fuels. We also need to convert concept oils from the labor laboratory into real options for drivers on the road. In the longer term, we see breakthrough in core engineering solutions developed with technology partners that may include split lubricant engines and temperature control viscosity. Many current specifications place a limit on oil volatility, which rules out unusually low viscosity oils, even if in all other respects they are acceptable. These same specifications include some seal compatibility tests which are widely viewed as outmoded and almost irrelevant. Revising the specification more will reduce the level of compromise we used to make or we need to make to allow us to review our own priorities and make sure that they are suitable for current climate. Another area where radical thinking could pay real dividends is in backward compatibility. This is the need to ensure that products are widely compatible with older engines. This is a sound principle and was developed for good reasons, but it could be hindering more creative approaches at the development of more effective solutions for new engines. There are a whole range of activity to support the innovation that will help us find solutions for the challenges ahead. And it is clear that no one company, no one part of our industry will succeed by acting alone. We can see that significant progress can be made through partnerships focused on improving the technology that we already have in place around conventional fields and vehicles. But that will not be enough. We will also need larger scale collaboration across OEMs and the range of energy providers to develop the technologies, the rules, the practical applications to meet the challenges of the future. And we at Shell certainly want to remain at the heart of this debate and strengthen our technical partnerships with OEMs further to move our co-engineering collaboration into the next level. Our industry has a great track record of innovation 
partnership and application to build on. And we're already delivering the practical solutions of our customers on the road. And if we can work together even more closely in the future, I'm really optimistic that we can create more with less and ensure that our customers have cleaner, more efficient engines in the decades to come. Thank you very much.